Welcome back to another episode of Big Movie Mouth Off. We're here at Groovy Cinema Pub. I'm never leaving. Uh, I'm Jimmy Martin with Slug Magazine. I'm Jeff Weiss with MSN Entertainment. You can find Big Movie Mouth Off on Xfinity, on demand, Salt Lake Alternative. There's actually a little folder with past reviews from Big Movie Mouth Off. Who knows? Possibly you could be watching this because you found us in that folder on Xfinity. Or if not, look for it. Please don't do it. That's right. Well, you know, I think the last time we were we were together, we're, we're now in 2013, and, and we had hoped and we had prayed that it had been going really well so far. Mm -hmm. And then a film comes along and just kind of becomes a turd in the punch bowl. Well, let's interview stand-up guys. Uh, directed by Fisher Stevens, if you remember Fisher Stevens. He was the, the uh, I'd say the Indian character who was in Short Circuit, who's not really Indian, so let's call that racist. And in this little story that they're trying to tell, Al Pacino, and uh, Christopher Walken, our best friends. Al Pacino has just gotten out of prison, a 28-year sentence. He is released. Uh, Christopher Walken is there to greet him. He says, what do you want to do? Turns out Christopher Walken is actually there to kill him, uh, who has been ordered by a mob boss who hates Al Pacino's character, Valentine, and says, it is your duty to kill him by 10 a.m. So they have one last night for the boys to get back together. Alan Ark enjoys the, uh, the fun later into the film as their getaway driver, a former getaway driver, it basically just becomes a night of uh, Geritol and uh, needs a lot of sleep. I'm Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. How long since your last confession? 60 years, give or take a few. Now confess each and every serious sin that separates you from Christ. Oh, no, we'd be here forever. Why don't we just deal with today? So I kind of missed you. Missed you, too. That just get weird? Yes. This is my best friend. He just got back from a long trip. Let's just drop the welcome home thing. Kill him by 10 o'clock in the a.m. or you're dead too. So who's gonna do it? Do what? You know what? Come on, just say it. It's you. It's me. What do you want to do? Until then. <laughs> so far, I stole a sweet ass car. Get down! A bunch of drugs. Nice. No drugs at the bar. It's a prescription. I got the hypertension. <laughs> but I did some good stuff, too. Oh, my God. I must keep my friend. Give me the key. There's no key. Give me the key. It's new. It's a button. It's automatic. It's a button. It's you, you push computers. the computers. Oh, man. This is like the future. Get down, man. Oh. And don't you ever try to quit. So can I say a Hail Mary and be done here? I don't think you can Hail Mary your way out of this one. Right. Is it done? Working hard. They say we die twice. When is wrong, once when the breath leaves our body, and once when the last person we know says our name. You're my new hero. Something I've been away for a long time. I just want to dance with you. I will say this. I could watch Christopher Walken read the dictionary. Absolutely. I can do that all the time. I, I love the man to the bitter end, and it's films like these where it really tests that love because he just really has nothing to do except stare and mumble a few words. But I cannot listen to Al Pacino say one more syllable. I, well, and you bring up being entertained by small things. I also <laughs> find myself often entertained by how bad Al Pacino's yeah. hairpiece will be in a particular film or his dye job. This film... <laughs> Sorely tested that. Uh, yeah. Sorely. And by the way, when you say fun, you mean not fun. By the way, this is supposed to be a comedy. Where's the laughs? I'm still I will say waiting the funny... for the well, laughs. Well, there was one good one. There was a good one when they're trying on suits and Al Pacino does say, <laughs> I'm not a 42 regular, I'm a 40 regular. Uh, no, sir, you're not. Mm -hmm. And that is a bald face laugh. Un unless it's the circumference of your hat, in which case, <laughs> yes, I believe that. Man, this film stinks. It's it's uh, and, and long and draggy. You know, it's supposed to take place one night. It feels like it takes 28 years. I felt like I was sitting in, in Al Pacino's prison, prison and, sentence. And these are talented guys. And again, people... Well, two least, are still talented. Yeah, at, at least <laughs> at Arkin and Walken, I enjoy seeing. Yeah. Here's my suggestion. Walken was in Seven Psychopaths. Watch that instead. Yeah. Alan Arkin was in Argo. Watch that instead. Al Pacino hasn't been in good in years. Watch one of the older films of his. Or go on YouTube and look up his appearance on Letterman with his crazy hair and his befuddled appearance 
where it looks like he hasn't had his Geritol. This is, uh, like I said, directed by Fisher Stevens. It is clearly evident that this director has lost complete control of his actors, has no idea how to, to direct them. It seems like Walken is just doing what Walken does. Al Pacino is doing God knows what. Mm -hmm. And Arkin's like, I guess I'm here for 10 minutes. How long do you need me? Well, okay. <laughs> to be fair to Fisher Stevens and the cast, <laughs> I'm not sure they had a script to work with. Because <laughs> this thing just meanders all over the place. And you know what is the, the icing on top of the turd cake? Is an ending that is probably one of the most cop-out endings I've seen in a long time. Probably next to Twilight Breaking Down Part 2 of, mm -hmm. of cop-out of endings. Um, I won't spoil it immensely, but Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, you are not. Yep. Stand up, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was like, I, wa I was like, really? That's how you're trying to end that? Like, Witch Cassidy? Good luck. Good luck. I was furious when I walked out of this. Uh -uh. One star is just because I can just smile and watch Walken. And Arkin, too. And absolutely. And I think you're right on with that one star <laughs> review. It's about as, it's about as all there is. Yeah, I, you know, I just don't have much to say about a film that has so little regard for its audience and its cast. Why did this not just go straight to video? Uh, you've got three big names, I'll say that, but you know, Pacino is not the Pacino that we all remember. No, and he's not a box. Again, go see Chris Rock and, and Seven Psychopaths, Arkin and Argo. Pacino, who cares? Yeah, right? Who, who cares? He aligned himself with Adam Sandler. I think that forever diminishes him. One star. <laughs> Hopefully, well, hopefully we'll have better films they, on the horizon. They all can't be winners, I'll say that. So, yeah, but so they all can't be losers like this either. <laughs> it's true, too. But this is the first loser of 2013, oh. and uh, that'll do it for this episode of Big Green Mouth Off. Be sure to check us out on all of our endeavors, and we'll see you there.